Hi, Luciana. My name is Daphne, one of the essay correctors here at artspodcast.com. Thank you for getting involved with us on your correction pack. Um, so today I'm going to help you with this essay. Um, can you um, please include the titles for me each time and also the graph? That just makes it easier for me to see what we're doing. Okay, so I've put it in for you now, but if you could send that as well, that would be really helpful. So here we go. Some people believe employees should stay in the same job for the rest of their lives. Others think they should switch. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So one paragraph maybe about the benefits of staying, one paragraph about the benefits of switching. Okay. It's common knowledge that not all people thrive for an exemplar professional career. Even though we scarcely know about a person that's achieved success spending a lifetime at the same job, many suggest this is a trend to be followed. In my opinion, substantial advantages derived from changing jobs, and I'll support this in this essay. Okay, um, so let's just work through this. It's common knowledge that not all people thrive for an exemplar professional career. What do you mean by that? I think you need to explain that for me. Or do you mean a traditional career? working with com one company so that needs explaining even though now we don't use we so take out we for this essay okay uh, use some people so even though some people may have achieved success or may achieve enormous success spending a lifetime at one company many suggest this is a trend Uh, many suggest this is a trend not to be followed or you should be saying then so you're saying yes it's good or, or we don't hear about people but, so if you start with even though then this part of the sentence should be a different idea from this part um, because your your sentences are both the same so just have a look, another look at that when you go back to it um, so I think maybe there should be a negative there. In my opinion, substantial advantages derive from changing jobs. Yes, substantial advantages, including something. So give me an idea here of where you're going to go, and I'll support um, in the present essay. Okay, good. Firstly, being exposed to diverse places has proved to ignite a positive change in a person's life. Okay, uh, diverse workplaces. Workplaces. Um, as well as different work, uh, as well as different colleagues, maybe or professional colleagues, has proved to ignite positive changes in a person's life. Whereas more considerable skills are acquired when a person is under pressure. Now, be careful again on this connecting word, um, because that's a contract. You see, I think maybe the problem is the connecting words. So that doesn't really work with that sentence. Whereas doesn't work because you're suggesting a contrast, and I think you want to be continuing the idea. So it's positive changes. Additionally, uh, considerable change. So you wouldn't, if you have additionally, you wouldn't need that. Considerable skills are acquired when a person's under pressure. Okay, so how would that be in a new company? Maybe so. Explain that. In this light, the personal unsatisfaction. The main reason for the personal unsatisfaction, don't use that. And the main reason for one for people to for people to hand in their resignation prompts personal personnel rotation. When in a new place the additional diverse task will ultimately help them mastering skills. Yes. Um so this sentence here, personal under pressure. Um, maybe, maybe instead of this light, so maybe so, um, so the personal unsatisfaction could be mitigated by moving companies. I think that sentence needs a bit of clarification there. Uh, yes, for instance, having a condescending boss may lead the worker to feel, well, no, you wouldn't feel happy. If you had a condescending boss, so that doesn't work because condescending is not nice. However, this is preventing the employee from taking action. On the other hand, a demanding boss will call for results, whether being able to act 
Okay. Um, now, okay. Th for me, so far, this essay is a little bit confused on the co on the cohesion. Okay, it would be easier um, for you to just make one point and argue it. So here you're arguing all one direction. Okay, that's fine. Um, but you're going backwards and forwards. You're saying this is good, that's bad. This is good, that's bad. This is good, that's bad. All the way through. Okay, just say the benefits if you're going to argue it one way just give me all the good things so this is great um more under more pressure that's why you leave but don't keep on going on the other hand on the other hand because i'm jumping i don't know where your argument is be keep this really clear make a point and develop the point yeah don't keep on going on the other hand oh by the way on the other hand yeah a further switching employment is a precious instrument of avoiding conformism and mediocrity nice which are traits that frequently prevent progress. Um, so it developed that. So give me more. Uh, this is because, so rather than furthermore here, this is because a person that decides to stay may find slacking in creativity or underperforming when asked to multitask. Okay. Fantastic. That's great. So then, for example. Okay. And then support your example. Okay, um, so it's almost like you're, this is a better paragraph, but, but structure it like this. So do a big sentence, develop it, then the example, and then your final sentence. But that paragraph is nice. Uh, in conclusion, despite, say, despite the fact that thing in the same job might be convenient, there's an unquestionable contribution. Um, unquestionable contribution to be had from moving in another direction in another direction and then I just stop there in my view the advantages are sufficient okay good okay good very nice um, so it's to do with the organization so uh, what I suggest you do is look on our website at some of the model essays that are up there um, and then with those model essays, you uh, will be able to get an idea of the coherence. So the biggest issue here, I think, is coherence. You've got some good language in there, really nice language. So we just need to think about organising it. Okay. Uh, but good, good work on that one. Well done. Uh, pie chart illustrates the French spelling agricultural yield in the year 2017. Yeah. Overall, the national cotton supply was predominant in that year. Having a considerable distance, sugar was the second relative product. The production of corn was less ex okay. Um was predominant in that year. And let's go over here with sugar being the second most produced. And then, so that would go, okay. while good, nice production of corn was expressive, mm. was the least, just go was the least. Okay. On the presented year, the sum of cotton was more than 50% of all crops. Don't use that punctuation of all crops uh, with, so rather than being the former, just put with 34% for corn, oh, sorry, cotton against, yes, okay. Furthermore, 17 of the sharp, the third of the output was wheat reflecting parts of the quarter. Yeah, that's very nice. Good work, that one. Well done. Um, uh, oh, I don't like you. Don't need that kind of chat in the middle. Okay. So the last two um, crops, or the least harvested crops in the period. Were rice and corn, which demonstrated 
dramatically, which, okay, were, have to have their demonstrated type dramatically inferior numbers. You need a passive in here if you're going to use that structure. Um, consisting of uh, less than 5% of the whole crop, rice production was still twice as high as corn. Well done, which is exactly 1.7%. Okay, uh, so just check your word count. Uh, yes, you're fine if I take out that. Well done. Okay, so keep it factual, keep it business. That's a good reply. Um, I'm going to send you a podcast which might help you on that one. But very good work, uh, Luciana. Good work. Just check out some of the essays to help you um, and look forward to getting your next ones. Well done.